The last issue of The Last Ronin Lost Years was released, so we finally have the full timeline of Michelangelo's journey, and all of the unanswered questions in the first volume of Last Ronin were adequately addressed, right? Well, it's a bit more complicated than you might think. The first volume of The Last Ronin is pretty light on timeline details, and chronologically, the Lost Years jumps all over the place to the point where I think even the good people at IDW got a little bit lost. Please don't get me wrong, this video isn't meant to be a dig at The Last Ronin. It's one of the best TMNT comics we've ever gotten, even better than some of the Mirage stuff. And I think everyone who has worked on this project has done a fantastic job and they clearly cared about creating a great comic for us. But with that being said, some things in this comic just don't add up. I could be mistaken in my details, but I've been keeping track of the Lost Years timeline since the first issue, and with the final issue being released, I've found some discrepancies. And I'm specifically talking about Michelangelo's timeline from the moment he lost his family to when he arrived back in New York. Or more simply, I'm talking about the lost years. Throughout this video, I'm going to go over the snippets of timeline details in The Last Ronin Volume 1 and The Lost Years and give some thoughts at the end. But as I said before, I could have missed something so feel free to let me know where I might be mistaken in the comments. So before jumping into the Lost Years, let's take a quick look at issue number 2 in volume 1. This was the first time the reader gets a semblance of the timeline. Mikey says that he spent years alone in the mountains. After getting beat up, he decided to learn and master all forms of martial arts. Once his training reached his end, he decided to go home. Other than this brief bit of context, the reader doesn't know yet the full details. Going into issue number 3, we see that it provides the most significant nuggets of timeline information found in volume 1. Hiroto claims to have ruled over the city for nearly two decades. However, Casey is only 16 years old in the present day. The discrepancy here is that Hiroto became the Foot Clan leader after Casey was conceived, because Casey was conceived around the time everyone was killed. Am I wrong here? Hiroto wouldn't have been able to wrestle control over the city if the Hamato clan was alive to stop him. So at most, Hiroto could have only been ruling over the city for 16 years. I guess you could say that's nearly two decades, but it does seem like kind of a stretch to say 16 years is nearly two decades, but I'll give it to them. However, what's also significant is that this must also mean that Mikey was away from New York for around 16 years. Also in this issue, Mikey claims that he did training in Asia and Europe, where he was presumably learning and mastering all forms of martial arts. So to recap, Mikey's journey lasted around 15 to 16 years before he ended up back in New York, and he was also said to be training throughout Asia and Europe. If that's true, hopefully we'll be able to see that the Lost Years accounts for all 15 to 16 years. So let's not waste any time and find out how well those details were followed in The Lost Years. The Lost Years issue number one has to do with those years in the mountain mentioned earlier. We learn that Mikey spent three years in the mountains before he encountered some death worm goons. Shortly after, an old man in a village tells Mikey about Deathworm. In The Lost Years issue number two, Mikey makes his way to Korea, and he says that it's been around three years since he learned about Deathworm. It's important to note that the narration started at the end of his stay in Korea, and then the issue explains how he ended up in Korea, before finally catching up with the narration right before he leaves Korea and makes his way to Inner Mongolia. If you're still following, just know that that would add up to six years total, which includes the entirety of his stay in Korea and in the mountains. The narration in issue number three is similar to that in issue number two. 
The narration starts at the end of Mikey's stay in Inner Mongolia, and then the issue explains his time there, before catching up with the narration at the end of the issue. But that's not really that important because right off the bat Mikey tells us he's been there for nearly two years, which would add up to eight years total, including the entirety of his stay in Inner Mongolia, Korea, and the mountains. So now there's only two issues left. Will the years add up to 15 to 16 years? We're only at 8, so let's find out. In issue number 4, we learn right off the bat that after Mikey was captured in Inner Mongolia, he was forced to participate in cage fights for 3 years throughout Europe, ending in Ukraine. And like the other issues, the narration starts right at the end of the arc so we can be certain that it was only 3 years. So those 3 years, plus the 8 we already have, adds up to 11. In the Lost Years issue number 5, Mikey makes his way from Ukraine to Italy, and when he makes it to Italy, it's only been about... Wait, wait, wait what? 15 years? That can't be right. So, unless it took literally 4 years to go from Ukraine to Italy, something must be wrong here. Look, let's... okay. Let's look at everything again. Mikey spent three years in the mountains, three years in Korea, two years in Inner Mongolia, and three years doing the cage fights in Europe. And I was rounding up, not rounding down. For example, I round up nearly two years to just two years. So there's no way I undercounted, unless I'm overlooking something huge here. If I'm confused, I know other people are probably confused as well. I read these issues multiple times, I combed them for details, and came up with the script for this video, but I still don't see how the numbers could possibly add up. Again, I'm not hating on The Last Ronin or The Lost Years. I love the Roninverse, and I have high hopes for it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Am I overlooking something? Or is the timeline confusing for you as well? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.